Hello, welcome to this video series on area of a triangle. In this video, we shall look at the area of a right angled triangle. When we have a rectangle, we can divide it into two triangles like this. Each of the two triangles has a right angle because a rectangle has four right angles. Let's look at one of the triangles. We can split the rectangle into two equal halves like this. We can then move the top part of the triangle down like this. Recall that the area of a figure is the amount of space the figure takes up. So we can see that the area of the triangle is half of the area of the rectangle. So when we have a triangle with a right angle, such as triangle ABC over here, we can draw the rectangle that contains it like this. We have drawn rectangle ABDC. From what we have seen just now, the area of triangle ABC is half of the area of rectangle ABDC. So let's say the length of the rectangle is 4 cm and the breadth is 3 cm. Then the area of rectangle ABDC is equal to length times breadth, which is equal to 4 cm times 3 cm. The area of triangle ABC is half of the area of rectangle ABDC, so it is equal to half times 4 cm times 3 cm, and that is equal to 6 square centimeters. We call rectangle ABDC the related rectangle of triangle ABC. Let's look at an example. Here, we have triangle EFG with lengths of its sides as shown. We need to find the area of triangle EFG. Can you see the right angle in triangle EFG? We can draw the rectangle that contains the triangle and we get rectangle EFGH. Rectangle EFGH is the related rectangle of triangle EFG. The area of triangle EFG is half of the area of rectangle EFGH. The area of rectangle EFGH is equal to length times breadth which is equal to 12 cm times 5 cm. So the area of triangle EFG is half of that, which is equal to half times 12 cm times 5 cm. And that is equal to 30 square centimeters. Now try some questions on your own. Goodbye.